Hey everyone, how you doing today? My name is Grant Ellis, in case we have not met yet, I'm the lead writer at fitandfuel.com. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Uh, usually I'm either showing workouts or making recipes or whatever the case may be, but today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a project we're working on, really just to introduce you to what it is and why we're doing it. When I say we, it's primarily me and my wife. To give you a little bit of a backstory, um, about five years ago my wife and I were first dating, or actually dating a little bit and considering getting engaged. Uh, she was having some serious health problems. We had no idea what was going on. It got to the point where she was actually going to a specialist once a week to get IV iron treatments. So uh, if you can imagine, that's a very, very serious situation. We really had no idea what was going on. So being the brilliant guy that I am, I, uh, I told her she needed to figure out why her body was not absorbing iron because that was really what was going on. It was completely deficient and uh, she'd take supplements and they wouldn't do anything at all. And so that's when she started having to get these IV treatments. Now, the real reason I told her to go get checked out is because, well, other than that I love her, is because we were getting ready to think about getting married and those IV treatments were gonna cost me $1,000 a week, okay? So if you can imagine somebody who's just getting married and early on in their career and everything, $1,000 a, a, $1, a week is kind of a deal breaker. So, total, we gotta figure out what's going on. Now, one of those things of, don't just treat the symptoms, we gotta figure out what the real cause is. And anyway, we went to specialist after specialist after specialist, and it ended up she went to a gastroenterologist some three hours from our hometown at the time. And I thought that was kind of a weird thing to do because you know it, nothing was wrong with her stomach in my mind. And it turns out after doing a lot of tests, they came back and said she had this disease called celiac disease. And in my mind, I, I gotta admit, I'm not one of those people that's very trusting sometimes, and I said, I don't know what that is. I don't even think it exists, okay? So this was five years ago, really right before all of the hype for gluten-free diets and celiac disease came about. And so I'm thinking these people are crazy. Like, wait, you're, you're telling me you have a disease that makes you not tolerable to wheat? Like, that sounds like something, you know, a crazy witch doctor would tell you or somebody that just wants to sell you something. Well, of course, fast forward five years now, we know that celiac disease is very much a real thing. We also are finding out more and more every day about what it means and the benefits to adopting a gluten-free diet, not, not consuming any gluten whatsoever. Uh, so anyway, back in the day when we figured out she had celiac disease, disease, we ended up, we had no information. It wasn't one of those things at that point that you could get online and just get hundreds of thousands of articles about gluten-free diets and whatnot. And so we had to meet with a lot of physicians and we met with a lot of nutritionists and we, we spent really the last five years just increasing our knowledge base in terms of what it means to not only have celiac disease, but what it means to someone like me who doesn't technically have celiac disease, but is definitely affected by gluten when I consume it. And so it's been a long journey. It's definitely not over. It was very, very difficult at first. You think about it, it's like, oh, okay, great, don't eat wheat. But you forget or you don't know that there's so many things hidden out there that are very difficult to uh, understand and very difficult to know if you don't know what you're looking for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, let me give you an example. So back in the day, you know, well, hey, we'll just eat salads or whatever, which is not realistic. But we didn't know that blue cheese is a gluten-containing ingredient. Not that I like blue cheese anyway. It's disgusting to me. But think about it. If you're a, a normal person and you just think you're eliminating gluten, you eat some blue cheese and all of a sudden you've got gluten inside of your system. There's some other things they told us that were just really fascinating about, hey, we needed to get separate toasters because gluten is such a small sticky element or ingredient or whatever molecule that it binds to everything it touches. And so if I made toast and then she made gluten-free toast, all of my disgusting gluten would get up all on her toast, okay? That sounds like a metaphor, but it's not. Um, it's, that, it's that big of a deal when it comes to knowing the facts and the details. So fast forward to now, and we've been working for quite some time, we let you know a while back, we've been working on basically a guide to going gluten-free. So whether you have celiac disease, whether you think you have celiac disease, or whether you just don't know and you're thinking about trying a gluten-free diet, we have developed a guide that really has everything we know about gluten-free diets and about celiac disease and about what you're looking for, what not to do, what not to eat, what not to anything. We've taken all the information that we've accumulated from meeting with all the doctors and all the nutritionists and we've combined it into a very easy guide to help you get started. So I just want to let you know that we're almost done. Uh, it's been a long time coming. It's just one of those things. I'm a perfectionist, and every time I get ready to say it's done, I think it needs a little bit, uh, a little bit of a tweak. 
and I don't, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to release something that, uh, in my opinion, isn't ready to go to, to, uh, to help people out as much as possible. So I want you to know it's coming. We're almost done. Uh, I would say within the next two weeks, we're going to have it finished, and we're going we're gonna to release it um, for an initial, uh, initial certain group of people, and I'll tell you more about that later. But in the meantime, love for you to um, enter your information below. Um, in the, the whatever it is, the sign up box or whatever it's called. That's how we're going to be communicating as we get co closer to launch what's going on. And there might be some deals and some things in there and probably going to give away a few freebies as well. We just want to keep people in the loop on where we're at in the process uh, and start uh, getting that information out there before we get closer to, I guess, quote unquote, launch. So put your information in. Um, we'll keep you up to date on what's going forward over the next couple of weeks. Uh, get ready for the gluten free guide. I think it'll be very helpful for you. It would have been for us if we had gotten it five years ago. So leave a comment if you like or share this. If you know anybody who has been considering going gluten-free or has been trying to drown out all the noise that you see if you just Google gluten-free, uh, this is going to be perfect for them. So definitely share this with them. So I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day. I hope it's warmer wherever you are than it is where I am because it's freezing. I guess winter's officially here. Uh, and anyway, we will keep you in the loop. Sign up below. Sh share this with whoever you want to. And we will uh, talk to you very soon. Thanks a lot.